A Sarasota County couple is taking on an e-cigarette giant. Their 15-year-old daughter got hooked on vaping Juul e-cigarettes, and now she suffers seizures. The suit claims the company purposely targets teens with its products. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from Sarasota to explain. Hey, John. Good evening, Jen. Right here on the box, there's a huge nicotine warning label, and it says that's an alternative for adult smokers. But these e-cigarettes are really sleek, they're discreet, they're really cool. The ads make vaping look fun, and this a lawsuit alleges that it's putting teens in danger. Jared and Aaron Nesmith say one year ago, their 15-year-old daughter got hooked on Juul e-cigarettes, and it has led to a downward spiral. My client got started and was attracted to the mango flavors, right? That stuff, that has no business being out available to youngsters. She's now addicted and suffers from seizures, a possible side effect. The family has now filed a class action lawsuit to put an end to the product. One Juul pod contains the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. The suit alleges Juul uses colorful, eye-catching ad campaigns with youth-oriented imagery all in an effort to lure underage smokers. They are utterly false in saying that it's for adults because it was really for adults. They would try to get it approved as a smoking cessation product. According to the nonprofit group The Truth Initiative, underage users typically get e-cigarettes from friends or family or sometimes directly from stores. In a statement, Juul tells News Channel 8 the company is aggressively working to curb underage smoking. They've taken down their social media accounts and removed fruity flavors from stores. The company also supports raising the minimum smoking age to 21. Jewel knew full well what it was doing. It knew full well it was all about hooking kids. So this is an important reminder for parents to have conversations with their teenage children about the dangers of e-cigarettes. And we'll have some helpful information for you on our News Channel 8 app. Live in Sarasota, John Rogers, News Channel 8.